one of the most important events in my hometown when I was a kid was Good Friday. The act that marked not only the day, but also the Lenten season in general was the Alive Via Crucis, or the procession. Men, women, and children got involved personifying the different characters remembering such event. Jesus, the apostles, the holy women, Herod and Herodias, Pontius and Claudia, Roman soldiers, and so forth. But the character that called the most attention was the Samaritan woman. The young lady that played this character was, by tradition, young, beautiful, and single. And she will dress like an Arabian dancer, covered in colorful veils, heavily made up, and while carrying a jug of water, would flirt and wink her eyes to the young single men in town, causing nothing but havoc, laughs among many, and the mortification of some. Of course, this was the Samaritan before her conversion. Today, we face the same woman who has come to the well for water. Through today's scriptures, we see how water stands as a gift to humanity. Water is given to the Israelites for refreshment as Moses strikes a rock with his staff. This water, fundamental and elemental and life-giving, allowed the people of Israel to survive in the desert. This water is what this Samaritan woman came to the well for. She was thirsty, but not for the mere product of nature. She was thirsty for healing. This woman comes to the well full of self-pride as a Samaritan and contempt for the Jews, full of bitterness and resentment, looking for affection in the wrong places, experiencing the failure of several relationships. What is more, she still was in an illicit relationship. And to top it off, she denies water to a traveler, which within the Middle East mentality is short of a mortal sin. She was hurt, angry, and resentful. She was thirsty. And it is Jesus who engaging in dialogue with this woman, breaking cultural and society conventions, speaks to her. Jesus leads her to look at her troubled life and help her to reveal her true soul, what several men weren't able to achieve. Jesus did it by just listening to her. Without condemning her, Jesus listens and ignites the blaze of faith. He gave her hope, offering her nothing less than living waters to satisfy the absence of God in her life. The scripture says many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him because of the word of the woman who testified. Once this Samaritan woman encountered Jesus, once she understood the role of Jesus in her life, saving waters, she believed. Not only that, she became an evangelizer. She became a messenger of the good news of Jesus. This woman, once vilified by the community and her own passions, after a drink of water, arises with a raised mind in higher things, dignified and transformed. Give us, Lord, this saving water so that we may thirst no more.